All right, good morning. If there are any children who want to participate or children of God of all ages who would like to participate, you can go ahead and turn on your cameras and turn off your mute now. Okay, hi. All right, so since we've been in quarantine, I don't know about you guys, but I have been spending a lot of time outside. I've been going for walks. I've been sitting in my yard. Maybe you've been taking walks or going to the park, or maybe you have a garden that you've been planting flowers in, or maybe you have like a vegetable garden or an herb garden. So today we're going to play a little game. I am going to show some pictures of some flowers and some pictures of weeds. And I want you guys to guess whether the picture I'm showing is a picture of a flower or if it's a picture of a weed. So give me a thumbs up if you think it's a flower and a thumbs down if you think it's a weed. Got it? Okay, first picture. Got some yellow flowers. What do we think about this one? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down? Yeah, you guys know, this one's a dandelion. This one's a weed. You don't, you don't want this guy in your gardens. It's gonna take over. Now, second picture. What do we think about this one? Kind of ugly looking. It's right in the middle there. What is that? Thumbs down? This is actually, Derek is right. This is a cactus and this is a good plant. So this eventually it grows and it blooms flowers. So it's not a weed. Now, last one. What about these? Blue flowers. Yeah, I'm getting some thumbs up. So while these might look super pretty, these are actually morning glories, which grow all over everything and take over your garden. So yeah, these are actually weeds. So it's really hard to tell sometimes, right? Whether something's a flower or whether something's a weed. And in today's Bible verses, Jesus actually tells a story about the wheat and the weeds. So he tells his disciples about this farmer who sowed his farmland with all this wheat hoping he would have lots to eat and sell. But all of a sudden, all these weeds start growing among the wheat. So the farmer servants tell him and they ask him, do you want us to pull up the weeds? Because they're kind of useless. They don't, they don't do anything. They're just gonna hurt the wheat. But the farmer says, no, I don't want you to pull up the weeds because it might be hard to tell the difference between the weeds and the wheat and you might end up hurting the wheat. Then when it's time for harvest, he told them to harvest all the wheat, but get rid of the weeds. So it might seem like Jesus was just talking about plants, but he was also kind of talking about people. Like, have you ever met someone who might have seemed like they were really mean, but they ended up being a good friend? Or maybe you knew someone who you thought was a good friend, but they ended up making some not so good choices or they weren't super nice to you after a long time. The hard thing about the weeds and the wheat in our lives is the fact that it can be really tough to tell the difference between someone who's a true friend and someone who might not be so nice. However, by showing how the farmer let both the weeds and the wheat grow, Jesus is telling us that no matter how others treat us, we should always be kind to others because we never know how others are going to respond. When we treat everyone equally, then we know we're doing what Jesus wanted us to do. So will you guys say a repeat after me prayer with me and anyone who would like to is welcome to participate. Okay. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For showing us. For showing us. How to be the wheat in the weeds. How to be, how to be the wheat in the weeds. Help us. Help us. To trust your judgment. To trust, trust your judgment. judgment. And treat others with kindness. And treat, and treat others, others with kindness. kindness. Amen.